Even if you're only vaguely into railways, that name probably rings a bell. This sleek blue locomotive isn't just another preserved engine. It's the world's fastest steam locomotive, a machine that turned Britain's obsession with speed and style into reality on the East Coast mainline. Today, we're diving into the story of LNER Class A4, numbered 4468 Mallard, how she came to be, what made her special, and what really happened on that legendary record-breaking run in 1938. Imagine the scene. It's the 3rd of July, 1938. On the East Coast Main Line, south of Grantham, an experimental train is thundering downhill past Stoke Bank. On the front is a four-month-old locomotive painted in rich garter blue, her streamlined nose slicing through the summer air. In the rear coach, engineers crowd around instruments inside a dynamometer car. Pens scratch wildly across a roll of paper, plotting every second of speed. The needle climbs. 100, 110, 120. And then, for a few incredible moments, it hits 126 miles per hour. A world record for steam that has never been beaten. The locomotive on the front? LNERA 4 Pacific Number 4468 Mallard. To understand how we got there, we need to step back. In the 1930s, Britain's railways were locked in a battle for prestige, passengers, and above all, speed. The LNER wanted something modern, glamorous, and fast to lead the charge. And that's where Sir Nigel Gresley comes in. Gresley designed the A4 Pacifics to be the ultimate express engines, smooth, powerful and aerodynamic. Those sleek Art Deco bodies weren't just for style, they genuinely reduced drag and lifted the smoke away from the driver's line of sight underneath. The A4s carried high pressure boilers, three cylinders and large driving wheels perfect for high speed running. Train spotters nicknamed them streaks and they quickly became icons of 1930s modernity. Mallard herself rolled out of Doncaster Works in March 1938. She was fitted with something special, a double kill chap blast pipe and double chimney. This improved the drafting of the fire and helped her breathe better at speed. It would prove vital for the record-breaking run to come. That famous run took place on the 3rd of July 1938. Officially, it was a test of new high-performance braking equipment. Unofficially, everyone involved wanted to beat the German steam speed record of 124 miles an hour. The train was heavy, seven coaches including the dynamometer car, around 240 tonnes in total. The driver was Joseph Duddington, calm, experienced and unafraid of speed. Fireman Thomas Bray shoveled furiously to keep the boiler pressure high. The run began slowly, thanks to a 15 mile an hour restriction near Grantham. But once Mallard hit the top of Stoke Bank, Duddington opened her up, 75 miles an hour over the summit, 87, 96, 104, 111, 116, 119, and then she surged past 120. 123, 124, before peaking at a breathtaking 126 miles per hour. No steam locomotive has ever officially gone faster. But the record came at a price. As Mallard slowed, the middle big end bearing began to overheat, something her crew were prepared for. She limped into Peterborough and was taken off the train for repairs, but the record was in the bag. Interestingly, Duddington and Inspector Sid Jenkins later said they believed Mallard could have reached 130 miles an hour if not for speed restrictions further down the line. A second attempt was planned for September 1939. But the outbreak of the Second World War meant it never happened. After her moment of glory, Mallard returned to everyday express duties. She ran hard throughout the war years then continued under British Railways in the post-war era, taking on top-link services between London, York, Newcastle and Edinburgh. But steam was fading. Mallard was withdrawn in 1963, 
only 25 years after she entered service, yet her world record almost guaranteed her preservation. She first went to the Museum of British Transport at Clapham and later became a centrepiece at the National Railway Museum in York. In 2013, for the 75th anniversary of her record run, all six surviving A4s were reunited for the Mallard 75 celebrations, a once-in-a-lifetime site for railway fans. Today, Mallard remains one of the museum's crown jewels. Thousands visit her each year, standing beside that iconic streamlined nose and reading the plaque that proudly declares, World's fastest steam locomotive, 126 miles per hour. Mallard matters because she represents the absolute peak of British steam engineering. She symbolises the interwar fascination with speed, streamlining and technological progress. And she reminds us of a time when the country was pushing boundaries, determined to be the fastest in the world. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the story of Mallard, I'd really appreciate your support. Please give this video a like, share it with friends who love railways and history, and subscribe to the channel for more stories from the golden age of steam. Don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss the next journey.